The loss of 10,000 jobs is expected to be announced in the state budget. Today in Wollongong, unions rallied to oppose what could mean massive cutbacks in their workplace. On Tuesday, the state government is expected to announce 10,000 public sector jobs will be shed on top of the 5,000 redundancies announced in September. That's 10,000 fewer jobs in New South Wales, many of those in regions like the Illawarra. The government will recommit to exempting nurses, police and teachers in schools from the cuts, but not TAFE teachers. While the earlier job cuts were pursued through voluntary redundancies, that approach is not guaranteed this time. We couldn't lose any more because what happens, we lose some administration staff, well those police, they take over that role. Treasurer Mike Baird has confirmed the government would be taking a range of difficult and necessary decisions in the budget to restore the state's finances to fund critical programs, services and infrastructure needs. How the government thinks that this is effective and um, uh, is beyond me. Along with the job cuts, unions are furious at proposed changes to workers' compensation laws. In November, 4,000 police officers marched onto the steps of Parliament to fight changes to their own death and disability scheme. We've got a service to the community. If you keep cutting it, well, then, then of course the service is not going to be as good. A large rally will be held in Wollongong next Wednesday. Paul Glover, WE News.